Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. It's been two months since my last tutorial, and I'd like to apologize for the absence. I just haven't been motivated to do this channel. Um, however, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for the crazy support during the time I haven't been recording. I mean, the channel's reached over 2,000 subscribers now. I think we're on 2,080 at the time of this recording, and uh, 120,000 plus views. Um, which is just crazy and something that I never thought I would um, would reach. So um, uh, I'm back. Uh, hopefully, going to be sticking to weekly tutorials. Although it might, you know, change. Um, uh, some might be a little bit later. Some could come out earlier. I just don't know. Um, uh, I want, one thing I want to ask everyone is that if you have any um, tutorials uh, to suggest, can you please uh, just knock up a, a couple in the description? Um, Comments, sorry. Uh, as I'm a bit short on them at the moment, so um, just anything will do. You know, I am still quite limited though. Obviously, I can only do HTML and CSS, um, but hopefully that'll be, uh, you know, expanding once I learn some more. But it's just looking very intimidating at the moment. I just don't have the time. Uh, you know, starting back at college and all. So we'll just get straight into this tutorial, which is um, CSS embedding uh, custom fonts. So obviously, obviously it does require HTML, but it's basically all um, CSS. Uh, so if I go ahead and open this folder, I have uh, a lot of files here. We've got a HTML file, uh, three custom font files, and a CSS. Now we have an EOT, and these are both uh, OTFs. And the EOT is there um, because Internet Explorer doesn't like any of the fonts. It goes through its own little thing. It goes through, you know, EOT. Um, you know, the browser we love uh, love to hate. So the EOT is there because of Internet Explorer to get it working on there. Uh, and that will show in the tutorial. So we'll just crack on straight in this. If we open our uh, sublime text, uh, we have the index file uh, here, the HTML. We've just got two paragraphs, very basic, uh, linked to our uh, CSS. Uh, one paragraph is normal and one paragraph is bold. And that's pretty much all you need to know for that. So obviously we have our body here. Um, and I currently have the font family assigned to Curvy, which is my um, custom font. So we will start with the at font face so we're going to just start with at font face and we're going to do font family uh, we're going to set it to curvy so it matches the font family up here uh, underneath that we're going to have source now the first thing we're going to want to do is add the EOT so it loads that first for Internet Explorer uh, so we're going to do source URL and we're going to have curvy.eot so the source URL basically just tells it where it would like to get the um, the the font from where it can be found uh, so after the uh, source URL we're going to add format brackets I'm going to add now this one's an embedded open type okay so once you've added that we are going to have a comma. We're not going to end it yet. We're going to go underneath and we're going to add URL. Uh, we're going to add another URL. And in this one, we're going to have curvy.otf. Now, this is for the more modern browsers that don't use EOT. And there's lots of different file types you can get in. There's T TTF, uh, EOT, um, OTF, and then you've got more recently the browsers have been starting to use is WOF, uh, W O F F. Um, but we'll just stick to what we have. So URL, the location, we're going to have format. And for the open type, we're just going to have open type. And we can end the uh, font face. So we'll save that. Uh, so now if we go ahead and go into our Firefox, you'll notice that the fonts are currently set as, set as default. So we're going to head and refresh that. And you'll notice that the font has changed to our custom one um, and another thing to mention is that I don't have this custom font installed on my computer so it's not running off that as you can see it's on the default so if I refresh it should go off the EOT which it does which is all good 
Now, the second part is of this is we're going to assign the um, curvy bold that we have to be used um, when font is assigned with you know the bold uh, font weight bold. So we're going to start. We're going to add another font face. And for this one, oops, we're going to have font family, and we're going to stick to curvy. We're going to keep it as curvy. Okay, and the, obviously there's going to be a couple of things changed. So we're going to add font weight bold. Okay, then we're going to have the source URL. And obviously the location of the font is going to change to curvy.otf. Now... Let's add the format, which is the open type, and we can end it there because I don't, I haven't converted the curvy bold. I've also done this wrong. It needs to be curvy bold the OTF. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, we don't have an OTF to put in because I haven't converted it. Just for the fact that I'll show how it works. So just to, you know, compare it, we're going to open up uh, the file in another tab of Firefox, and we're going to compare it. So as you can see. This one isn't using the custom f bold font. This one is. So there is a difference. Only very slight. However, it does make that difference. And you'll notice that if we go ahead and load, say, another tab in Internet Explorer, nothing changes because it's not linked to an EOT. So you just have to be aware that Internet Explorer is not going to work with custom fonts unless you convert. Now, there's multiple places you can go and convert. Uh, files. I can't remember which one I use for this one, but it's literally all you have to do is just type in, say, if you have a TTF, you can just do TTF to EOT converter or OTF to EOT, vice versa. Uh, as for getting custom fonts, I'm going to recommend google.com slash fonts. You get a crazy amount of fonts on here, custom fonts. These are all free to use under an OFL license or something like that. Um, I think it might be some like open free license. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, that pretty much covers all there is to font face. It's pretty basic, um, you know, use really. That that is all there is to it. Adding custom fonts. Uh, you just have to be aware of the EOT in the Internet Explorer, and also making sure the license of the font allows you to embed it on your website. You know, you don't want to get into any copyright. Uh, situations uh, so yeah that's about it for this tutorial guys I hope this video has been educational and it has helped you out and if you can help me out by hitting that like button down below and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe for future updates and um, I will see you in the next one